Grady could be a part of the family, but at the same time, he's an entrepreneur, he's a businessman, and that comes before pretty much anything with that with this particular character. So, you know, uh, he, he got your back, but if a better situation come around, I don't know. You, you, ne you never know. Take me through the installation process and like your reaction when you first put on Greenie's wig. <laughs> you know what? I'll say this. It gave me a newfound respect for any woman walking around with a unit on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it ain't it ain't easy. It ain't an easy thing to, to pull off. You know, uh, you got to make sure that lace is laid properly and then, you know, that it ain't flaky. It's, it's a thing. It's a whole thing. So I have a whole new respect for women and them units. Much love and respect to you. It ain't for me, damn it. I just, you know, I did it for the show. But uh, yeah, I, 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 it ain't for me. But man, I, you know what, I, but I wanted to do it though. I wanted to do it because I wanted to really delve into the character for real. I wanted people to not see Neo when they when they, when they they watch this, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, Greeny was known to have that, th had that, 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 that Hawaiian silky thing doing what it do. So we made it happen. We made it happen. Greeny was real, is, is really pretty. So I'm going to just throw that out there. You did a great job. And I appreciate the newfound respect you have for us and our units. <laughs> Copy that. Copy that. <laughs> so for you, Meech, um, the core of the show is really family, BMF and family being like the most important part. How is the family dynamic really tested and different now that you're in Atlanta? Well, it's definitely tested because... Meech doesn't have his family with him in Atlanta. He's by himself. He doesn't have his brother. He doesn't have his crew to back him up. So he has to use different tactics and and go about the situations differently. You know, he's around people that doesn't trust him, that he doesn't know. You know, these are all new faces. So he has to be smart about the decisions that he makes. You know, he has to be more of that boss. And we get to see that during the season. You know, even though the people in Atlanta don't want to deal with him, they still have to in a certain sense, just because the things that Meech is bringing to the table is hard for them to say no to. But it's hard for somebody to allow an outsider to come into your hometown and set up shop and take all your money in business. So we get to see Meech dealing with that in a different manner, you know, than the way he used to go about the other things that we've seen. So it's definitely crazy to see and watch. With that, I don't want to know if I want to consider a greenie, greenie like a member of the family, because I'm just, you know, I don't know if I can really trust him, but <laughs> how would you describe that relationship? Is that someone that could potentially ever be considered a part of the fam? I feel like Winnie could be a part of the fam just because he has something that I need and I got something that he needs, you know. We both helping each other out, you know. So it's kind of that win-win situation, you know. It's it's hard for people that don't have anything in common to to really, you know, like each other and, and, and be the best of friends. But as long as they can help each other out and one scratch each other back, they can still make it work, you know. That's what I feel yeah. like it's going on. I agree. I th I think that you know, uh, I listen. I don't know much about that that life or that business at all, but I could imagine that trusting anybody completely is probably a no no, just because it's a cutthroat business, and and you know everybody is on the come up trying to do what they're trying to do, and depending on the situation and the circumstance, loyalties are only as strong as financial gain involved. So with that being said, um, Greeny could be a part of the family, but at the same time, he's an entrepreneur. He's a businessman, and that comes before pretty much anything with that with this particular character. So, you know, uh, he, he got your back, but if a better situation come around, I don't know. You you, ne you never know. You just gotta you just gotta keep your eyes open and 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 pray that he's you know uh, a friend as opposed to a foe. How do you think the move to Atlanta has really kind of challenged Meech as a leader? I think the move to Atlanta has challenged Meech so many ways because these people don't care about him. Like Neil was saying, it's a cutthroat business. Everybody is out to get what they want. And that's really all they care about unless you come around somebody that's genuine, that has good intentions, you know, so, but the game that Meech is in, it's hard to find people with good intentions. You know, everybody's out to get you and trying to get what they want. 
And that's it. Meech is a different kind of person. He already knows what people want and he knows what he wants. And he's not gonna stop until he gets what he wants. Even if he has to go about it a different way, you know? So instead of resulting in violence, Meech goes about things differently, you know? And that's how you have to be in chestnut checkers.